I'm born and raised in the United States, actually pretty whitewashed American, you know, culturally uh, quite, quite grew up in the East Coast and in, on the West Coast. Uh, so I have a very uh, standard American upbringing. A uh, very technical person. I uh, went to school at MIT. I did my PhD there at the MIT Media Lab. I was sort of combining a lot of early machine learning with wearable computing. I was uh, at one point the principal investigator for the MIT Wearable Computing Group, and then doing a lot of what we now call quantified self type application, big data applications uh, uh, with data mining of human behavior. Um, so that's my background. But then after I graduated start this 20-year uh, journey to be a serial entrepreneur. Uh, basically did the zero to one thing, basically developed a lot of uh, co uh, companies in the semiconductor electronic space with new materials, uh, diamond materials for thermal management and semiconductor applications. So started an LED company, started a solar company, and a couple of semiconductor processing companies where I uh, helped to build the manufacturing in, in a, a few different continents. Um, and then during the uh, 08 crisis, I uh, pivoted to Asia because I lost funding for my solar company at the time. And, uh, and you, know, basically, you know, basically understood that coming in, into China at that time, there was a huge need for advanced technologies into the country. So I started repositioned myself as, uh, you know, uh, to do my, my business in China. Um, got my ass handed to me, the first uh, uh, company that I, I did in China, because I didn't, you know, I was trying to start a Silicon Valley style company. And, you know, my, my partners were doing land deals, you know, and there was, there was misalignment in, in terms of incentives. But I figured out that, uh, that there was a great need for technology in China. So I kind of repositioned myself as a tech transfer cross-border specialists trying to take different technologies to bring into the greater China ecosystem. Um, and then instead of focusing on early stage stuff, right, the zero to one thing, I started focusing on the one to a thousand thing to be a commercialization scale expert on how to uh, do business. And, and, and that kind of business uh, venture building, I call it, to, to take a technology, to take a, a team, uh, industry uh, expertise, uh, government relationships, financing, and to put those together uh, into viable businesses is what I, I focus on. So then I became a uh, part-time academic at HKOST where I teach how to do business in China, how to uh, do tech entrepreneurship and innovation thinking, you know, uh, so focus on that. And then more recently, I uh, have moved over to Shanghai where I uh, have really focused on fintech, right? So I, I run the fintech research center at the new uh, Shanghai International School of Finance, uh, focused on very practical applied research on how to take these modern technologies like blockchain and also the, all the business model innovation around uh, tokenization and digital assetization and then try to interface that with the uh, institutional world, how to get traction with institutions in a regulated way. And, uh, you know, uh, focus uh, also as a, um, you know, a faculty at a national uh, China Institute of Economics and Finance. It's a think tank on uh, fintech innovation. So we're, we're actually giving recommendations uh, to the government on how to do uh, these things in an enlightened manner. Actually at HKOST um, taught a, it's called high tech uh, uh, entrepreneurship and innovation. And it was literally the only class in the whole university, which was a, uh, like a meld of uh, MBA students from the business school with PhD and, and master's students from the engineering school. And that mix, uh, interdisciplinary mix, I think is at the heart of the type of entrepreneurship style that I, I, I tried to teach, where basically all the interesting things happen at the intersection of things, right? If you do uh, something within an industry, then you have to be a, a very strong industry leader um, to really make a difference, right? Because it's kind of like a red ocean situation where there's a lot of competition, a lot of people who are smarter and, and more motivated than you are, right? But if you kind of take, say, an algorithm that, that things and you see that in um in, you know how i position myself i position myself as a bridge between the west and 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 the east right the china ecosystem and the the western ecosystem we can get into some of the interesting dynamics uh, these days of that 
I also position myself as a bridge between uh, the academics with the industry, with the government, right? Between technology and finance. And so, uh, you know, having that, those kind of uh, interconnectivity provides a lot of flexibility to the uh, innovation, the business models, and also uh, the value add that you have for, for those different things.